Hello, and welcome again. Today, we're back with Joel Freudman to hear about the next chapter in his journey. Joel, last time you told us that you quit your job. What unfolded next? So that's where it starts to get really interesting is one of these companies, you know, I said I was kind of kicking tires and just chasing any companies where I thought there might be an opportunity. So there's this one little company, New Brunswick headquartered in Fredericton. So kind of under the radar, it's East Coast of Canada. Um, and it was called Trius Investments Inc. And I, this was one of the companies I kind of done a test run on, let's say, uh, as I was setting up Resurgent. And the CEO had said, oh, you know, we got some issues to work out with the stock exchange. Uh, call us back in several months. So we're, you know, we're around mid 2017 at this point. And I say this company tries investments, they put out some sort of press release, which you don't normally see. It says, uh, basically, we're having a lot of problems with the stock exchange. The stock exchange requires us to fix a bunch of things to be in compliance. So I called the CEO, his name is Gordon Wheaton, great guy from uh, from Fredericton, runs a bunch of small businesses there. Uh, and I said, hey, you know, Gordon, it looks like you guys could use some help here. Try us. What do you think about me getting involved as an investor or on the board? And he said, well, well, sure, this would be pretty interesting. We should, why don't we meet up and chat about it? And so over the next few months, I got to chatting with uh, Gordon, who is the CEO, and uh, a couple of other guys on the team, uh, John Robertson, who was a director, and Robert Harrison, who was the CFO. And it turned out they were in some regulatory problems, although they were very sound business builders. They had, they had invested in, in fact, their initial business was a garbage disposal business. And they had contracts for garbage disposal all around Fredericton, New Brunswick, very successful business. So successful, in fact, that on a company with a market cap of a few million dollars, uh, they had paid out a six and a half million dollar special dividend to shareholders the year before I got involved. You, know, you literally never see that in the penny stock space. So I thought, this is an interesting company. It's run by you know honest, good guys, savvy business builders. They're just not familiar with the public company realm. So I joined the board in July 2017. Uh, they made me an independent director and immediately got to work kind of addressing the regulatory problems because that was something I knew best for my time as a lawyer. Um, it was a, a quite a challenging process, but that was really my entry into Trias Investments was I'll fix these regulatory issues. Um, and that's kind of how I got involved there. And they, they had, again, they had a garbage disposal business, which they had just sold. They had interest in addiction rehab clinics in Utah. They owned real estate in uh, in Utah as well. So, some very complicated ownership structures. So it was a really interesting little business to get involved with. Um, but I had to kind of sort through all this because the exchange uh, had a different view, I guess, on some of the things that had happened there. Mm -hmm.